So ASOS announced quite a number of interesting products last year and ROG Strix Arian we have here is one of them. So in this video, we'll be talking about what kind of features and accessories you can get inside this product. So the ROG Strix Arian here is actually an external NVMe SSD enclosure so it doesn't come with any SSD included. If you need any SSD, you just either have to buy a new one or use any spare SSD you have. For us, because we have plenty of SSDs lying around, we just got ourselves one directly from Taiwan to have a test to see what kind of personal phone we can get from this. So inside the box, you'll get of course the area in itself is a pretty solid enclosure, I'll say, made of metal, so it can help with uh, heat dissipation. Unlike some of the SSD enclosure that's made of plastic, you get heat trapped inside and somewhat hinders the performance in some ways. Inside the accessories compartment, you'll get a bumper case. You can put the bumper case around the enclosure just as a protection for your investment. You know, this thing is not cheap and so does your SSD. So having an extra layer of protection is good. And you also get this hook or whatever you want to name it. So you can make it into a pretty glorified keychain, I would say. Pretty neat, I would say, because you can hook this on your bag. If you have an ROG bag, yes, ROG fans, if you have an ROG bag, you can hook this on your bag and looks cool, I will say. So we'll put this aside first and look at what kind of accessories we'll get inside the box. So a quick installation guide, just in case you don't know how to install it. It's pretty comprehensive and straightforward for most of the starters out there. They also included uh, what appears to be... Is this a SIM remover? Looks very similar to the one you'll get from Asus phone. Because it really looks like the one I have last time. And it's for, okay, it's for opening up the case. We'll try that later. So other than that, you also get two kind of cables inside the box. Type-C to Type-C and a Type-C to Type-A. So you can just use it with any device you have. Except for if you're using an iPhone. Sorry. <laughs> and last but not least, you get another user manual for which I don't know what reason because there's already a very simple installation guide here for you. To install an SSD inside the Arion, you have to poke this tiny little hole here. The installation for the SSD is fairly simple, but I'm not sure why they included a flathead screw instead of the commonly seen Phillips screws. But thank God they included this so you can remove the screw easily. We have an extra SSD here lying around, so we'll just install it in the area. You also have these thermal pads on the back of the SSD, so it actually helps to transfer heat faster from the SSD to this plate, which acts as a heat sink to cool down the SSD. So once you've got everything ready, just put it back together, and you're good to go. As the ROG Strix Arian supports a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C interface, that's very long. It can support up to 10 gigabit in terms of performance if you connect it with the cables included in the accessories pack. If we look at the performance numbers here, you can see that the performance for the ROG Strix Arian with the SSD is quite consistent and we are getting an average of 1 gigabyte per second in terms of the sequential read and write speed. And this is very consistent across a different file size which we use in a test. Other than the speed itself, the RG Strix Arian is actually pretty good in terms of the cooling because even during the operation which we are using peak read and write performance, the highest temperature which we recorded is somewhere around 40 degrees to 43 degrees. And of course, at that kind of temperature, you can expect that it will not throttle the performance of the SSD. The SSD that we're using inside 
the enclosure here now is actually a Kingston KC2000 which is capable of around 3500 megabytes sequential read but because it's in this enclosure the max performance you'll be getting from the SSD is around 1000 megabyte per second. So if you don't want to waste that extra speed which the SSD is capable of, you might want to go with a different SSD which the read and write speed is somewhere around the range which is supported by the ROG Strix Arian. Apart from the performance, aesthetics is definitely something you can expect from the ROG Strix Arian. Because if you take a closer look at the enclosure itself, you can see the RG logo here, which is actually RGB capable. And you can sync this with the RG Aura software on any of your RG products. I'll say that's an added plus for the RG fans, I guess. As for the price, the RG Strix Arian is retail at around $59.99 US dollars which I think is fairly reasonable because of the speed it can provide, the accessories that comes with it, and of course the build quality itself. It might be a bit pricey for some of you but if you're willing to spend a bit more for the quality and the looks, uh, the ROG Strix Arian is definitely something that you can consider for. So yeah, that's pretty much it for our review on the ASUS ROG Strix Arian external NVMe SSD enclosure. Do let us know what you think of this mini device here. Thanks for your time watching this video. Hope you like it. If you like it, do give us a like and I'll see you guys in the next video.